What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We have a very, very, very exciting try on haul because I know we've all been waiting for camo shorts, just new camo colors, some new ombre colors. So it is a very exciting try on haul. I also feel like this is a very long awaited release. I know that you guys have probably been seeing the camo and the ombre for quite a while. They were just waiting for inventory and shipping things to get there, but I do feel like it's definitely a long-awaited one. So I would set your alarms, mark your calendars. These all release on May 6th at 11 a.m. PST. Because I feel like it's kind of a long-awaited release and camo and ombre are so popular, I have a feeling that there is a possibility things could sell out quickly. So I would just recommend knowing what colors you're going for and just setting your alarm so you're there when they release. As far as sizing goes, I wear an extra small in all the pieces that you see here. I've also popped my stats in the description below in case you wanna use that for reference. I've also popped my Gymshark link in the description if you do choose to shop through it. Thank you so much. But I really just wanna hop right into it because I am obsessed with these pieces and I think you guys are gonna be obsessed with these, so let's get started. So let's start with the camo shorts because I feel like that's what everyone's waiting for. In the shorts, I have the black and the pink. So far, both colors have been squat proof for me. I personally am leaning towards the black as my favorite. I don't have the green in the shorts. I think I would really, really like the green, but I don't have that color in the shorts. So I've been leaning towards the black, but they are both to die for. I think they're so cute. They're a little bit shorter than other shorts that have released recently. They're a little bit shorter than the ombre shorts, which you'll see in the try-on. But if you like a shorter short, then these are super cute. They don't have the butt scrunch in the back like the leggings do. So there's no scrunch, but there are these scrunches on the sides, which when I'm wearing them, I don't feel like you can even really tell that there's little scrunches on there. It is kind of a cute detailing, but there is no scrunch butt in the back. Now, some people love that there's no scrunch, some people hate that there's no scrunch. So take that for what it is, but I still think they are very, very flattering without the scrunch. I feel like because they are a shorter short, they definitely ride up a little bit while I'm working out. They don't roll up. I'm not noticing them roll, but they do start to just kind of scrunch up. So I am having to pull them down. I think that's just what comes when you're wearing a short short versus a little bit of a longer inseam then it usually stays in place a little bit better. I just think it's what comes with having a shorter short. Mind you, I am wearing them for leg day, so you are doing a lot of movements where it is pretty normal for your shorts to ride up a little bit, but I just thought I would mention it. I feel like the waistband is very, very comparable to just the Adapt Camo leggings. It's not gonna start to dig in on you and get uncomfortable or anything. As far as digging into your thighs, there is a lot of stretch on the leg portion of the shorts. I'm barely having to pull this for it to stretch. And if I really, really stretched it, it would go a lot further. So I'm not noticing any discomfort around my thighs. I just feel like in general, I've always been a huge camo person. It's always the number one legging that I feel like I'm recommending. And now they're shorts. So if you are a shorts person, these are definitely for you. All right, so just continuing with the camo, we'll talk about leggings. So let's talk about the green because a lot of people want to know if this green is the same as the old green. Not the old, old green, but the latest release of the green, the newer Adapt Camo. So I don't have the old green, but I've seen comparisons. It's not the same green. So this is more of a washed green and the older one is more of a deep green. So if you do have the old green, these are not the exact same. I am currently obsessed with this green they are extremely stretchy. I mean, they are so soft, so stretchy, so comfortable, so flattering. The color is so pretty. I don't really, I could keep going on. I don't really even know what else to say because I am obsessed with this green. Now the black, the black is a staple. You can't go wrong with black. If you like an all black outfit or you just like to mix and match with black leggings, black is a staple, but the green is so pretty. And again, I don't have the shorts in this color, but I wish I did. I've talked about camo time and time again. You really can't go wrong. There is the butt scrunch in the back. Some people like that, some people don't like that. I think it's very, very flattering. As far as the waistband goes, like I mentioned in the shorts, it's a comfortable waistband. It's not gonna start to dig into you, get uncomfortable. So what I do with full length leggings, just so that they can fit me in length, since I am short, 
I just kind of scrunch up. I just pull at my thigh a little bit and then I pull at the calf a little bit until it's just scrunched up enough to where it's sitting above my ankle. That way full length leggings fit me okay in length even though I'm short. I forgot I also had the leggings in the pink. I think the whole pink set, the pink sports bra, is such a vibe. I think it's such a pretty pink. It's a really neutral pink. It's not super bright. The camo is also super subtle in it. I definitely think the green might be my favorite, but the pink is probably my next favorite. And then you obviously can't go wrong with a black pair of leggings. There will also be a red camo, which I don't have, but it looks like it's a very, very true to red color. As far as squat proof goes for me personally in all of the colors that I've shown you, I've never had an issue with squat proof in camo. I don't wear any underwear with my leggings and I do recommend wearing something that matches your skin tone if you do. But as far as camo goes, it is a little bit of a thicker material, so it has been a squat proof for me. All right, let's go into the camo sports bras. So this is a little bit of a different style. I got the new style. They're also still releasing the older camo style, which is just a crisscross in the front, kind of goes down to a V, and then there's one layer that kind of crosses in front, and then the back has more crisscross detailing. But I went with the new style, which is just basically a standard sports bra look. So just that racer back style and a little bit more of a scoop neck in the front. There's a cute scrunch in the front which also matches the long sleeve crops and then there's a cute little scrunch in the back. It's still a little bit of a longer lined sports bra just like the v-neck one is. It's not a super short sports bra. I just feel like you're going to be able to get a little bit more of high intensity workouts out of it. I'm not saying it's a super super supportive sports bra but it does have that scoop neck instead of the v-neck so it just kind of covers a little bit more which might make you feel more comfortable during certain workouts there's still removable padding in it I still think it's really flattering it's like sporty spice and it's really comfortable so I personally have the green and the pink and the black I went with normal sizing I would say stay true to size and then of course you could go with the other style sports bra too all right let's move into the last camo piece that I have which is the onesie now it's super cute it's really comfortable I don't personally feel like it's my thing. I just don't think that I would really work out in it. Now I've seen everybody else in it and it looks so stinking cute. And I think that it's cute on. I just don't really know if I'm gonna work out in it or not. I did see Savannah Wright pair with like a jean jacket and some tennis shoes, which might be like a cute summer outfit. Again, it is really comfortable and I might see myself wearing it more so as like athleisure. I don't know if I'll get a workout in it, but I wanted to show you in case this maybe is your thing. I would say probably stay with your normal sizing in it. There's no scrunch butt on it, but I mean, how easy is it to just pick out an outfit when you can just pick out this entire piece and you have a full on outfit? So she's cute, she's flattering. I just don't personally know if I'm gonna wear it to work out, but I wanted to show you just in case it was something you were interested in. Okay, just to recap camo, there will be green leggings, green shorts, green long sleeve crops, and green sports bras in both styles. There will be black leggings, black shorts, black long sleeve crops, and black sports bras in both styles. Pink leggings, pink shorts, pink long sleeve crop, pink sports bras in both styles. And then the red will have leggings, shorts, and then a long sleeve crop, but the sports bra will only come in the new style. So lots of different options for camo, but we're gonna pop right into the ombre. So starting with the ombre shorts, they are a little bit longer than the camo shorts, actually quite a bit longer. So you can see that they are actually a different length than the camo shorts. If you do just like a longer pair of shorts, then these ones might be for you. I've been into the ombre leggings since the last batch of colors came out. I think they're really cute, flattering, love the waistband. I know that a tight waistband is either a hit or a miss. Some people really like a tight waistband, some people rather have a little bit more of a relaxed fit. I like a waistband that I don't have to touch. I want it to stay in place, I want it to be snug, and the ombre is definitely that. I just feel like it's a little bit more, you know, if you were to kind of pull it, it's gonna snap back in place. That's what the ombre waistband is like. Comparing the new ombre waistband to the older blue that released, it is basically the same waistband. 
It's not a waistband that I find that is digging into me and starts to get uncomfortable, but it is tight enough, snug enough to where I'm not having to pull it up constantly or anything like that. I think I've always been a fan of the ombre shorts because I really like the length of them. You can wear them a little bit longer if you wanna have them pulled down all the way, or you can scrunch them up just depending on how you wanna wear them. So very versatile, you can kind of change the look of them just based on how you wear them. For the fit around the thighs, you can see that it is a very stretchy material. I noticed that if I'm pulling them up to make them more of a shorter look, they do dig into my thighs a little bit. It's a really, really stretchy material, so it's not uncomfortable, but I am noticing that it does squeeze it a little bit. Whereas if I'm wearing them more full length and pulled down, that definitely happens less. So in the shorts, there will be a blue, pink, and purple. I don't personally have the purple to show you. The blue is different than the last blue. So here's the blue that released last time. And then here is the blue that is releasing this time. So older blue, newer blue. And then moving into the leggings, there are pink leggings, blue leggings, and purple leggings. I only have the pink leggings. The first thing I noticed is that these felt just a lot softer than the blue and the red and the black ombre that released a little while ago. I just personally felt like the material felt a little bit softer. It's still a snug waistband. The waistband is very comparable to the shorts. It's the same kind of fit. It's a very seamless legging, so it just feels kind of soft and silky. And the waistband, although it is a seamless waistband, it definitely has more of that snug fit to it. So as far as squat proof goes in the colors that I do have, so I don't have the purple, but the pink has been squat proof. And then I wore the blue shorts on leg day today. You can literally tell they are a mess from dumbbells and hip thrusts and they're, I wore them today for leg day and I squatted and they were squat proof. So the colors that I do have have been squat proof. As far as the sports bras go, they are that same style that came out with the ombre shorts last time. So just that simple racer back style, cute, sporty spice. There's removable padding with it. I feel like it's a little bit more compression than the new camo sports bras, but just is still so simple and we love that. As far as sizing goes in all camo seamless, I feel like you really can go just true to size on camo. As far as the ombre, if you are in between sizes, I feel like you could go up just in case with that waistband. I wouldn't want it to get uncomfortable if you are in between sizes. I don't wear the long sleeve crops in the camo or the ombre very often at all, so I didn't get those, but they're still super cute if you like a matching long sleeve crop with leggings or my personal favorite, long sleeve crop with shorts. So there are long sleeve crops available, but just a reminder, these do release May 6th at 11 a.m. PST. Set your alarms, and what I like to mention with every single try on haul is to not ever feel like you have to purchase something. There will always be new things coming out, new items releasing, new launches happening, so don't ever feel like you have to get something. But of course, if you do ever choose to shop through my Gymshark link, thank you so, so much. Definitely let me know which ones were your favorites, but thank you so much for watching.